Hey everybody, uh, Yankee here. Just want to come at you real quick to let you know why I'm not doing a video today or anytime in the near future. I'm in my studio here in front of my green screen where I usually do my videos, but if you look behind me here, this is my gun safe. This is where my computer's at. This is where I do all my editing. It's where I do my uploading. It's where I do everything after I film. You know, I take the SD card in there and I put it together. But last night when I went to go in here to get into my live chat, as you can see, my safe don't work. It wasn't that I couldn't remember the code or anything like that. The code thing here was working. It's still working. If I program my code in, it actually unlocks the safe, but you can't get into uh, the door because, well, you can't get into the safe or the room. Let me sit that back on there. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Uh, because this doesn't engage anymore. When I shut it last, I heard something break loose and fall down into the safe as I re-locked uh, it from inside. And I checked the handle multiple times. It locked it and unlocked it, so I was safe. But I leave, and then I come back later to do my live chat. It can't get in the safe because this is completely disconnected from the mechanism in there. And this is just flopping around here. But uh, now I can't get in my safe. I went and got the key because the key is supposed to be able to open it just on its own. Like you don't even need this. You can just turn it and it unlocks the bolts. Uh, the key went in, but then would not turn. And then when I tried to turn it, the tip broke off of it. I don't know if you can see that right there, but the tip is broken off. Like I said, the locking part still works just fine. It's just that I can't disengage the bolts. So I've got no way to get in my safe. Now, this is a snap safe door that I paid like $1,500 for. Now they're closer to $2,000. And uh, I'm sorry if the camera is really jittery here. Everything my uh, setup for filming this is not the best. In fact, it's kind of laughable if you actually see it. But uh, like I said, this is a snap safe door. They are now owned by Hornady. Now, supposedly they have a lifetime warranty. We will see. I'm going to contact them and see what they can do for me. But for now... Can't get in my safe at all. Can't get to my guns. Now my carry guns are out in the house and I have other guns in the house, shotguns, AR, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I'm not destitute as far as guns. I can still get the guns if I need them for an emergency, but it would be nice to be able to get into my gun safe. I would really enjoy it. Uh, and this is frustrating as hell. It's another expense I don't need if I have to replace this door. So I'm hoping they will honor the warranty and that this is just a fluke event that this doesn't usually happen with their products and they'll stand behind it. Uh, if they give me a hard time, that kind of tells me they're junk and they don't want to deal with it. But uh, we will see. Like I said, I'm going to contact them first. I was just going to cut into it. But people that are smarter than me and more patient than me in my live chat last night said, you might want to talk to them before you cut it open. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to talk to them later. I'll let you know what's going on. Maybe the next video will be me trying to break into my own safe. But for now, I'm going to call them, see what they say. And hopefully soon I'll be able to get back into my safe again so that I can get back to work.